from Aylesbury. Well, somebody got to live there, haven't they? I mean, <laughs> no, it's a very nice place, Aylesbury. And um, he's asked me to tell you a little story. And it's his favourite story. And it's about a mate of mine in Oxford. And he's opening up this posh new restaurant in the middle of Oxford. And uh, because he's a great jazz fan, he particularly likes Duke Ellington, he's calling this restaurant the Cotton Club, you see. And he phoned me up and he said, hey James, he said, um, I'm having a VIP opening night in a couple of weeks. And he said, uh, would you put a band together sort of uh, <coughs> to do a sort of a Duke Ellington thing and play some modern jazz on the opening night? I said, yeah, love to. <coughs> so I got on the phone and I phoned all the best musicians in Newport Pagnell. <laughs> <laughs> Know. But he was on holiday. <laughs> so so I've, I've got the best trumpet player, the best trombone, and best bass player, and drum and so on. Anyway, <clears throat> we're getting very close to this big, big posh opening night in Oxford, you see, and the phone rings again. And it's the trombone player's wife. And she said, Well, James, I'm really sorry, but my husband's not well. He's not going to make the uh, gig in Oxford. But she said, Don't worry, we've got a deputy trombone player. We call him Depp, you see. I said, Oh, great, okay. She said, not a problem. Okay, put the phone down. Ten minutes later, the phone rings again, and it's this trombone deputy player bloke. <laughs> deputy trombone player, is that right? Yeah, you know what I mean. He said, hey man, I'm checking out the gig in Oxford. I said, oh, great. I said, thanks for ringing. I said, tell me, what, what sort of things have you done? Oh, he said, I've done everything. I said, have you worked with any sort of big name artists? Oh, he said, I've worked with them all. I said, who? He said, oh, Shirley Bassey, Frank Sinatra, Glenn Miller, Count Basie, Duke Ellington. Engelbert Humpty Back, <laughs> Tom Jones, Tony Bennett, Victoria Beckham. <laughs> I said, fantastic. I said, well, how old are you then? He said, 19. <laughs> so I thought, hey, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Anyway, the big night comes and we arrive in Oxford, this wonderful cotton club in the middle of Oxford, this wonderful restaurant. And uh, I'm there setting up the gig, and our friend, the trombone player, arrives. So we shake hands, how do you do? Nice to see you. So I get the music out, you see. Well, he looked a bit blank, didn't he, with his music. I said, uh, you do read, don't you? He said, well, I read the Daily Mirror every day. <laughs> so I said, oh, OK, don't worry about reading it. What we do, we we'll play from memory all night long. He said, well, it's not a problem. He said, I know every tune ever written in any key, any tempo. He said, blindfold me if you want, stand me on me head. He said, I'll know it. I said, that's fantastic. OK, I said, we better make a start. I said, because the guests are starting to arrive. So I said, let's start off with a Duke Ellington tune, like Satin Doll. He said, oh, I don't know that. <laughs> I said, OK, don't worry about that. And I said, what about uh, C Jam Blues? He said, what key is that in? <laughs> C Jam Blues. What is it? OK. He said, well, I don't really know that. Now, if you're ever in this situation, Janet, is a tip for you as well. If you're ever in this situation, <laughs> Every guy in the world knows the lady is a tramp in C, don't they? Everybody knows that. So I said, look, we do the tramp in C, and what we do, I said, he said, not a problem. Blindfold me if you want, any key, any tempo. He said, I said, what we do, me and the bass player and the drummer play the first chorus, okay? And then when we get to the end of a little solo, you come in and we'll have a nice trombone solo. He said, not a problem, any key, any tempo. He said, I know it. Okay. So, we get started, and things go like this. And the guests start to arrive now, you see. The mayor and his lady arrive. I went, good evening, Mr. Mayor, good evening, madam. Very polite. And all the doctors from the hospital that didn't close down. <laughs> Would you believe Richard and Judy walked in? <laughs> I went, good evening, Richard, good evening, Judy. And she went, <laughs> Anyway, the guests are all, all, all arriving now and they're starting to have a drink and a little chat and start to enjoy themselves. Now, we get to the end of our chorus of the Ladies of Tramp. Now, our friend here, remember, with his trombone, he knows every tune ever written, any key, any tempo. This guy knows it. So this is going to be good, isn't it? And this is what happened.